Yesterday, Chen Guangcheng left the protection of the U.S. Embassy. He sought refuge there last week after escaping house arrest. He accepted Chinese government assurances that he and his family would be safe. These photos show him with the American ambassador, Gary Locke. He escorted Mr. Chen to this Beijing hospital for medical treatment and a reunion with his wife and children. Chen Guangcheng is thought to be still inside. But today he told me he no longer trusts the Chinese regime to keep its word. He believes his family is in grave danger. Government officials broke into my home armed with sticks and wanted to beat my family to death. They've installed video surveillance cameras in the garden, on the roof and inside our house. And they're going to put an electric fence around our home. He now wants the American government to help them leave China. When I was inside the U.S. Embassy, I didn't have all the information. I couldn't get information. Now I have it, and I can sense certain things, and I've changed my mind. Finally, he made an appeal to Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton. I want them to do something concrete to protect my family. Mm. Hillary Clinton is in Beijing for talks with Chinese leaders about security and the economy, but her visit has been overshadowed by Chen Guangcheng's case, and American involvement has angered the Chinese. The United States raises the importance of human rights and fundamental freedoms because we believe that all governments do have to answer to citizens' aspirations for dignity and the rule of law. Today, U.S. diplomats met with Chen Guangcheng and confirmed he's had a change of heart. Critics say the Americans didn't do enough to protect him and were too anxious to appease the Chinese government. Inside the hospital where he's thought to be getting treatment for a stomach complaint, Chen Guangcheng's future hangs in the balance. The police outside the front gates might not be a good sign. Mr Chen was locked up for more than five years for exposing human rights abuses in China. Now he and his family want to leave this country for a safer life elsewhere. The question is whether they'll be allowed to go. Holly Williams, Sky News, Beijing.